Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to synchronize audio. I get this question a lot because I use an external microphone and I don't hook it into my camcorder, so I do have to synchronize my audio in every video. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. This doesn't take that long, it takes like five minutes. So, here we go. Okay guys, so this video I'm going to show you how to synchronize audio, um, and it's really simple to do. First thing what you want to do is make sure you click on the audio track you want to render. You just need to click one time. Now you're going to go File, Render As, and instead, right here where it says Save As Type, in this drop down there should be one that says Audio interchange file format you're going to click that now pick a place where you want to save now it's just like rendering video but instead it's going to be an audio track so save this as whatever you're going to save this as and it's going to render it out it won't take very long it will take maybe like two seconds and then you can close that down then you should have an audacity file that you've already recorded independently and what you would do and I have to pause the video and I'll be right back okay so we are back so the next step you need to do is go project import audio and find the video or the file you just saved so here's mine that I just saved now notice I have not touched anything with the original recording I've just brought in two audio files that are not synced. You, if I were to play this, you can tell right away they're not synced. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom way in onto the tracks. And we're going to find the point that I start blah blah blahing on the first and we're looking for it on the second oh whoa what am I doing okay right there that's what I'm looking for I'm gonna click right there we're gonna come right up and we're gonna go ahead and highlight everything and just delete it Obviously, it's not quite synced up yet. And boom. Scrub over. There we go. So now we zoom out. And you can see uh, there's only like a little piece left. It's all I'm going to delete. Now I can get rid of this bottom one. I don't need it anymore. We're going to do a control A, a control C, a record, a stop, and a paste. Once I've done that, I'm just going to say make stereo. Control A, effect, and you might not need to do this effect to amplify, but I always have to just so you guys can hear me a little bit better then the last step you would have to do is file export as wave save it uh... save changes to your wave file or your audacity file it never hurts now what you do is you bring that file in to your editing software for me it's sony vegas everything matches up so all I have to do is just delete the audio track group everything back together and I am back in business hope this was helpful and uh, have a great day